The CEO of the private sector firm Bharat Forge Defence has said that the Kalyani M4 armoured personnel carrier has completed successful high altitude cold weather trials in Ladakh region in 2020, and the Indian Army has now ordered an undisclosed number of units. The Kalyani M4 is based on an next generation armoured vehicle built by the South African firm Paramount Group, for which both the companies had signed an agreement in 2020. The company has now offered the vehicle to the Central Armed Police Forces, along with a sniper rifle and a dual technology mine detection system, which combines ground penetrating radar with magnetic sensors. The director of Aeronautical Development Agency has said that certain parts that are required for the first AMCA Mark I prototype has entered production, and the rollout of the first prototype will happen in 2024 followed by its first flight in 2025. He also said that the fifth-generation fighters have huge downtime due to extensive repair work which is needed to maintain their stealth characteristics, due to which the AMCA will come with an integrated vehicle health monitoring system that will help to achieve a higher operational availability rate. The Aeronautical Development Agency has also developed a special coating for the glass cockpit section to reduce its radar reflection, and the internal weapons bay design has also been tested on the ground, and only some of the technologies are left to be developed, that will also be completed soon. The gas turbine research establishment will send the Cavalry dry engine prototype to Russia's top aviation institute Gromov Flight Research Institute in early 2022, where it will be tested on an IL-76 flying laboratory. The government has sanctioned fresh funds for the development of the 47 kN class Cavalry dry engine prototype, and if everything goes according to the plan, it will achieve its initial flight release certification in 2024. Bharat Electronics Limited and Italian manufacturer Beretto have signed a memorandum of understanding for the manufacturing of close-quarter carbines in India. It is to be noted that the Italian firm has already offered the ARX 160 to the Indian Army's requirement, while its PX4 was in contention for an order from Army's infantry and special forces units. Bharat Electronics Limited has also signed a memorandum of understanding with Green Robotics to jointly develop artificial intelligence-enabled autonomous man-pad data link system that will bring isolated operators of man-portable air defense systems into a network environment. The DRDO has handed over licensing agreements for transfer of technology for 14 DRDO-developed technologies to 20 Indian companies for production and exports to friendly countries, and the technologies transferred are for the four-dimensional Ashwini low-level transportable radar system, inertial navigation system for naval ships, long-range optical target locator, commander thermal imager site for T-72 tanks, fuel cell-based air independent propulsion technology for submarines, the RDO developed wheeled armored platform along with its modular armor, and the 155mm advanced towed artillery gun system. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and French engine manufacturer Safran have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore opportunities for strategic business cooperation, that includes transfer of key engine manufacturing technologies, manufacturing of the M88 engines of Rafil fighters, maintenance repair and overhaul of the M88 engines, and the development and production of other high-thrust aero engines for helicopters. Safran is also in talks with the DRDO to participate in the Cavalry jet engine program. Hindustan Aeronautics and Rolls-Royce have also signed a memorandum of understanding to establish an authorized maintenance center for the MK871 engines. Russia's Rosbaron Export has said that the contract for the license production of AK-203 rifles by Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited is ready and will be signed with the Indian Ministry of Defence very soon. Russian officials have said that the Indian version will weigh 3.8 kilograms, and it will have a fixed side folding butt. 
It is capable of 700 rounds per minute and has an accuracy range of 800 meters. Rosborough Nexport has also confirmed that it is awaiting the announcement of P-75 Y tender and is ready to bid for the Indian Navy's sixth next generation submarines tender. Adani Land Defense Systems and Technologies has offered the Israeli Sky Striker to the Indian Armed Forces that will be produced in a joint venture with Elbit Systems. The Sky Striker is a fully autonomous electric-powered tactical high-speed loitering munition with a range of 100 km that can locate, acquire and strike operator-designated targets with 10 kg warhead at a speed of 550 km per hour. Adani Defense has also signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Bharat Earth Movers Limited to provide mobility systems for wheeled armored personal carriers, infantry combat vehicles and main battle tanks, which signals the company's entry into the field of armored vehicles. The Ministry of Defense and Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a contract for procurement of ship-borne software-defined tactical radio systems worth over 1,000 crore rupees, which has been jointly developed by the Indian Navy DRDO and Bharat Electronics Limited, and the delivery will take place within three years. The chief designer of rotary wing projects of Hindustan Aeronautics has revealed few details regarding the 13-ton multi-role twin-engine medium-lift helicopter yesterday. He showcased a 3D digital model with all the line-replaceable units and antenna in place, and said that it will have a maximum speed of 260 km per hour and a service ceiling of 6.5 km. It will have an operational range of 700 km and can carry 36 soldiers. HAL plans to build three flying prototypes, and two more prototypes for structural and ground tests. He also said, that it will be made using modular construction, and will see maximum use of composite material, and will feature blade folding capability. The airframe will be made by the private sector, and the helicopter will be ready for certification within eight years after the program is sanctioned by the government.